Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Of course, it depends on uh, when you are watching this video. My dear students, welcome to this video uh, by which we uh, revise uh, our curriculum of the second term, grade five. Uh, let's start uh, by the revision on vocabulary. When we talk about vocabulary, of course, we talk about words we learn in the reading lessons in our units. Of course, it's not just about words. I'm about to tell you how. But number one, how can I deal with words to keep them the correct way? Uh, number one, we should know the spelling of the word for dictation. And of course, the meaning of the word. How can I make sure that I keep the spelling and I can recall it any time for dictation in the exam, for example? It's all about repetition, because repetition uh, makes perfect and the repetition is the master of all skills. If you have a word that you find difficult for you, you have to repeat it many times. Repeat it by saying the word or even writing the word. This is part one. Make sure that you keep the correct spelling of the word. About the meaning, when you read the, uh, the meaning of the word in the booklet, one of the best ways that helps you memorize and keep the meaning of the word is to use it in a sentence of your own, okay? So read the word and use it in a sentence and write it down. Uh, number two, we learned something called locations. What does it mean? Words that go together. Like, for example, can I say take or give a left, for example. Collocations means words that usually go together. Of course, the answer is give a left. So, when we talk about vocabulary, we don't just talk about words. Sometimes we talk about collocations, for example. And one more thing that we, uh, about the vocabulary is phrasal verb. What is a phrasal verb? What is a phrasal verb? It's a verb plus preposition or adverb. For example, a word catch. Catch is a verb, but if we say catch on, we get completely different meaning. Catch, of course, you know that it has many meanings in English. Catch a pole, catch flu, catch a pass, and so on. But catch on gives us a specific meaning, which to become popular. We can find these things in uh, lesson two, uh, in each unit uh, in grade five. Also, another thing about vocabulary is prepositions. And you can also find it in lesson two in each unit. Prepositions. Can I say space the age of 20 or 20? I traveled to London, for example. Should I say in or at the age of? Of course, I say at. So when you study the vocabulary, don't check or revise the words only. You have to check the collocations, prepositions, and the phrasal verbs. Okay? Now, let's have some questions, different rubrics about the vocabulary. The first exercise that we have here to revise vocabulary is read and correct the underlined words. This type of questions, actually, it helps you or makes you think deeply to remember which word best fits that sentence instead of the incorrect one. For example, let's walk down this valley. It's really peaceful. It's really quiet. So if you understand the meaning of the sentence, here you ask yourself, which word that you have learned similar to the word valley when we say it as a pronunciation? So the pronunciation helps you remember. 
and the meaning of the sentence. Let's walk. Let's walk. Walk here is the key word to help you recall or remember the correct word that we should use here. Walk means path. And in unit 8, lesson 1, I think, we have a, a word called alley. Alley, which a narrow path or road between buildings. So the correct answer is alley. Okay, number two. I think this is the best moral I have ever seen in my life. Again, the word moral, we can't see morals. Morals means ethics. If you behave, behave well with others and you are polite, it means we have good moral. And if you are impolite, you don't have good morals. But, so I can't see the moral, but I can see which word you think is similar to the word moral that we can't see on a wall that we learned in unit five, unit eight, listen one. Huh? Yes? What do you think of the word is? Of course, mural. What is uh, a mural? Is a big picture on a wall. The information only become fabric after his death. Fabric after his death. Of course, this is one of the, the most difficult questions here. The similar word to fabric or the one that best fits number three is public. Yes, what does it mean public or what is the object of public? Yes? Private, excellent. When something is public, so it's, uh, it's available for everyone, but uh, private used only by uh, its owner when something is private. Number four, like many creative individuals, she can be very bad-tempered. She can be stressed or nervous. This is the meaning of bad-tempered. The word many here is the key answer, the word that helps you. Many takes singular or uh, plural, of course, plural. So individual should be what? Individuals. Very good. Number five, I'm very loud to have been involved in this project. To have been involved in this project, to take part in the project, to be one of the team of the project. I am very, yes, excellent, proud. Don't forget that proud should be preceded by verb to be. Am, is, are, was, where, and so on. Number six, all the mothers and fathers had been invited to the end of the term beat. Of course, by the way, all the mothers and fathers had been invited. Is this active or passive? Yes? Passive, excellent. All the mothers and fathers had been invited to the end of term at schools, at the end of the term. Parents attend concert. What is a concert? It's a performance of music. Our host was wearing a clown consume. Of course, this is lesson three, unit eight, so you don't have to study this word, but if you know it, that's fine. Our host was wearing something that we put on, a clown costume, and a costume is a type of clothes for a special occasion. Okay, where, if I want you to give me a phrasal verb that means where? Yes, you. Excellent. It means pot on. Where means pot on. And what is the, ob the opposite of pot on? Yes, that's right. Take off. Pot on your coat. Take off your coat. It's hot. Number eight. Long hair is back in fashion. And this word also mentioned in uh, unit eight, lesson three. You don't have to study it as well. Symptoms of the illness, attitude, a high temperature, and a dry cough. These symptoms, when someone suffers from an illness, if uh, this illness is cough, for example, or cold, someone may sneeze or may cough, cough, and sneezing is called symptoms of the illness. Attitude, a high temperature, and a dry cough, of course, we have to say include. Include. Okay, number 
10. I don't know what to choose. What's your, of course, there should be a question mark here. What's your, when you ask someone to advise you to do something or uh, to give you options to choose from, what's your recommendation? Recommendation is like suggestion, similar, similar word to uh, the word recommendation is suggestion. What's your suggestion? Meeting you here in room is occasion or event or situation. Remark, we have to use the adjective and uh, it holds the title of unit text, of, if you can remember. Uh, the title was remarkable people, very special people, great people. So this occasion to you was remarkable, very important, very special. And the word remark, by the way, to mention something by saying or writing it. Number 12, I think it's the easiest one. Uh, the site of the temple was discovered by a group of archaeology. Archaeology is a noun for something, but here we need a word that refers to a noun of someone, refers to someone. Uh, the sentence number 12, the site of the temple was discovered. Again, is this active or passive? Yes, that's right. It's also passive. Which tense? Huh? Excellent. That's right. Past simple passive. Because we have object plus was or was plus past participle. A group of archaeology or a group of archaeologists. Exactly. Archaeologists. Of course, someone may say archaeologist, singular. Don't forget we say a group of, so we need the plural of the word. Number 13. It took me a while to adapt space the new job. Which preposition? We use after the verb adapt. And you know the meaning of adapt, of course, to make a situation familiar to you. When you travel to a new country, for example, with different lifestyle, here you have to adapt to this lifestyle in order to live. So the preposition is adapt to. And of course, don't forget the word adopt. It means to look after. Uh, an orphan boy or girl and to make him or her a part of your family. He went on and mentioned to Mount Everest. Again, you have to find a word similar. This is hint. Mention? No. He went on an expedition. What does it mean, expedition? Yes. And Organize a journey to do something. Very good. Number 15. No one projected when the past said it was time to go home. Who can give me a similar word to uh, pass or pass? Yes, leader, manager. Excellent, very good. No one said no, so no one objected. Objected. And do you know that object? When I say object, it's a noun, but object is a verb. Okay, the way we say the word can change its part of speech and as a result, its meaning. To go home, objected. No one said no, everyone agreed. He was a young sailor on his first sea. Of course, we have two words that help you know the word. When we travel by water, by sea, and so on, it's called, huh, voyage. Yes, that's right. Astronauts brought back spiders of moon rock. I, 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 I know that it's a difficult question. But when we go to a place and get a sample of something to examine later, it's called specimen. Social media has quite an contact on young people. Contact, impact, impact. Impact as a noun, a similar word is, yes, effect, 
Exactly. Okay, let's go on. We are about to finish the first exercise regarding vocabulary. This is easy. Stars appears at night, of course, appear. And if we see a star, if it's a star, we should say appears, but stars here, uh, plural, so we have to say appear. And when something appears, it means you can't see it. I like running, so I will take part in the race tomorrow. Take part, who can remember the preposition that we use after take part? Yes, that's right, take part in. Who can give me another word that means take part in? Yes, participate. Amazing, that's right. Participate. When you take part in a race, you are one of the runners in this race. Apart on the ending, it's really good film. Apart from. And apart from takes a noun after at or verb plus ing. Don't forget that. He is determined. Of course, we need the adjective here. So he is determined. Don't say determined. Dear students, something important I'd like to mention here. When we have uh, the words in sentences like that, you have to keep these sentences, not just the word itself. Because the more sentences you learn, the more you speak English easily and automatically like native speakers. So try to keep the words in sentences, not just individual words. Okay, now let's move on to the second part or the second type of the questions regarding the vocabulary. This is someone, something, sorry, we use to make music. Yes, think about it, it starts with I. Of course, it's, yes, an instrument. An instrument, amazing. You do this when you write music. Starts with C. Who can say it? Someone may say create. Someone can say the word I mentioned in unit eight, which is compose. Com compose means you make up. Make up words or sentences. When you compose a song, you write it down using your own words and your own ideas. Compose, make up. If we have similar phrasal verb in the, to give the same meaning as compose is make up. This describes paintings on walls. Paintings or words written uh, on walls or street signs. Yes, I can. Hear someone? Yeah. Graffiti. Correct. A display of art in a public place. It's exhibition. Excellent, amazing. Exhibition, LH silent, don't say it. Exhibition. This is the opposite of a copy. What's the opposite of a copy? Starts with O, yes, original. Sex. This is how you feel when you are nervous. We have many words. I think in unit seven, that uh, with a similar meaning to the word nervous, like upset, anxious, stressed, and another word is tense. When you are tense, or when your body is tense, you are unable to relax. So tense can give us the same meaning as nervous here. Sight and smell, this is a very easy question. Sight and smell are two of these, of course, senses. Your throat can feel this way, of course, is the meaning of sore, painful. And of course, one of the meanings of the word sore can be used as an adjective like angry, especially when you are unfairly treated. Why you look sore, why you look angry, 
I answered the question correctly, and the teacher didn't give me the full mark, so I'm sore. Let's complete this one. This is something that needs solving, and this is also e easy. Can you guess? Something that needs solving starts with P. You are right? Problem. Of course, this type of questions, apart from dictation, tests your ability about writing the correct spelling of the word. Do this to keep fat. Fat means to be uh, physically strong. Yes, exercise. Exercise. Many students misspell this word. Please, my dear students, check the spellings of all words before the exam. Make sure that you can write all the vocabulary mentioned in our textbook correctly, please. This is a job that a person does for many years. Yeah, that's right. Career, and it's a double E, not double R. And we also have many words regarding career, like, yes, job, occupation, and also profession. Similar meanings, these four words. This is someone who likes to be in charge. I like this phrase. When you are in charge, you are the leader, you are the boss, you are responsible for running a place. This is someone who likes to be in charge. It starts with L, of course, leader. And the verb is lead, lead the team. This describes the amount you get paid to work. Pay. The, the base form of paid is pay money. And get paid, you get money. From your work, of course, it's your salary. That's right. This describes someone who wants to be successful. And of course, all of you want to be successful. Grade five, great students. I know that. Um, Patience. And we have similar word, which is ambition. Yes, you are right, means aim or goal in life. This describes a person who knows a lot. Of course, experienced. And of course, we have expert. Expert on something. And of course, we have a similar word, which is knowledgeable. When someone is knowledgeable, he knows a lot about something. Now we have another rubric. The easiest one, choose the correct word. Kim got her space from Oxford. Of course, Oxford is a university. So after studying at university, after finishing your study there, they give you what? Yes, a degree. That's right. He wants to start his own space in less than a year. He wants to start his own interview. It can't be. We don't have our own interviews. But when we want to apply for a job, the employer uh, should have an interview with us or interview us. So, of course, the correct word is business. To have your own company, for example, or your own project, this means you start your own business. Many, Nancy asked her space for a pay rise. A pay rise. If uh, her salary is 1,000, for example, if she wants it to be 1,200, for example, this is called a pay rise. To have a larger family, uh, sorry, salary than usual. Nancy asked her, Pass for a pay rise. Neil hopes to have a large one day, similar, yes, a large salary. What space do you need for this job? What adverts, what skills, professions? Professions means job, jobs. So what skills? Yes, that's right. What skills do you need for this job? The company is going to bring some new beauty products this autumn. Yes, as I told you at the beginning of the video, 
that there are some, something called the phrasal verb, which, which is a verb plus preposition, and the, the preposition, it changes the meaning of the verb completely. You know that bring without a preposition means to take something with you to someone or to a place. For example, don't forget to bring your torch when we go camping. But bring out means, yes, produce. So the company is going to produce some new beauty products this autumn. You should try clothes to see if they fit before you buy them. Again, my dear students, please keep the whole sentence, not just the target word. You should try on clothes to see if they fit before you buy them. If they fit means if they suit you, if they are the size you want. So before we buy clothes, we have to try them on first before we take them or buy them. Take space your shoes and make yourself comfortable. Yeah, if you invite your friend to your house, for example, you say, okay, take off your shoes and make yourself comfortable. Take off. Amazing. You are doing great, my dear students. We are still in this type of the questions regarding vocabulary. Nine, these hats are too silly to wear. They are not good looking. I don't think they will catch up with, up or on. Catch on. Of course, phrasal verbs are confusing. Please study them very well. You can find them, as I have told you before, in listen to in each unit. Catch on means be popular. People will love it soon. Catch on. So because they are silly, he doesn't think they will catch on. Has Marty finished potting on her makeup yet? Pot on. Next question. And uh, I think it's too easy. The photo or the photo was a plaque and white of a woman. Exhibition, landscape or portrait? Portrait, of course, portrait. Okay, 11, the photo or the photo was a black and white portrait of a woman. 12, she doesn't look nice in the picture because she was in a bad mood, style, flow, of course, mood, in a bad mood. Uh, Robert, would you like to space your photos with the, the, the class? Share, remind or express? course share. Another type of uh, questions that we may have is circle the correct words. Kiara won the top purpose or prize for her discovery. Of course the answer should be yes prize. But what does, it, what does it mean purpose? Who can remind me? Correct, thank you. The purpose, the reason why we do something. Okay, excellent, reason. Okay, number two, she wants to improve or determine the world. Of course, the answer is improve. And the noun of, uh, of improve is improvements. Yes, we have to know the different parts of speech of the word. Is it verb, adjective, and so on? And also the word derivatives. How can we derive the noun from the word? This is also useful when you study vocabulary. Improve verb, improvement noun. And I like this sentence, my dear students. Let's you know the moral of this sentence. She wants to improve the world. If you really want to improve the world, first you have to be a good person. So everyone should keep in mind how to be positive in where you live, in your community, in your country, and during your life, be a good person, try to improve your life, your family life, and even 
your country, why not? And also the world. As our friend here, she wants to improve the world. She wants to make the world a better place to live in. Number three, choosing a career can be a really space decision. Is it easy, this decision, to determine or know which job is the best for you? I think it's not easy, so it's tough. Another word that, that means tough is difficult. That's right. What is the verb from decision? Yes? Amazing. Decide. Okay, by the way, decide, verb decide, should be followed by full infinitive or gerund? Yes, amazing, that's right, full infinitive, decided to. He decided to have lunch in a restaurant yesterday. Decide to, plus infinitive. Thomas has over 3,000 songs on his, this is easy, of course, in B3 player. Cheo is hoping, is planning, hope, is, is hoping, is planning to have a career or knowledge in photography. A career. Excellent. My parents are going on holiday this week in the for some people usually go on holidays to uh, escape the he hectic life, escape from the hectic life, the busy life. So all of us sometimes need relaxation, right? Of course you agree with me. Parents are correct in thinking that children spend too long online. You don't like that. You want to enjoy your time online a lot, right? I'll take up yoga if you are energetic enough, if you really want to do it. Next. Leslie has been very lately with all the work she has to do. She has to do a lot of things. So she is, yes, stressed. If you can remember, we learned stressed and this word sore in the lesson about senses and uh, the subtitle of the first paragraph of can you remember if you want to control the stress come to your senses come to your senses what does it mean come to your senses yes I have told you that before come to your senses it means calm down and think in a correct and positive way. This is the meaning of come to your senses. When you deal with someone who is angry, he's shouting, you say, come on, come to your senses. Think positively or in a correct way. Next, my grandfather is depressed or tired of hospitals, so I usually go with him. I like this question or this example, it's amazing. My grandfather is tired of. When you are tired of something, no longer, no longer do you like it. No longer do you like it. Pedro, it's an annoying thing. Pedro is an expert on or of, of course, on classical music. What is your attitude for or to? Of course, what is your attitude to? What does it mean, attitude? Someone's attitude to? Yes? Amazing. Your opinion. So the same thing if I say what is your opinion about rap music. The same meaning when I say what's your attitude to. What is your attitude to something? Or what is your opinion about something? The same meaning. Attitude to, opinion about. There is a need. Of course the need here is now no verb. Who can tell me? There is any need here verb or noun? Yes, it's noun because it's preceded by a. There is a need of more good composers on Hollywood or for? Yes, need for. She isn't a lover, which a proposition? Of. Like a big fan of. A big fan. A big fan of 
Al Ahli team or Real Madrid and so on. Music has a good effect on amazing. Another real prank, the words in bold are wrong, write the correct words. Number one, Mary turned the invitation to go climbing, she was too busy to go. Do you remember that? She was too busy to go, who can use free here? Huh? Challenge, five marks, who can use free here to give the same meaning? But before we answer this question, let's go back to the incorrect preposition here. Mary turned down the invitation. So, so did she go? No, she turned it down means she refused the invitation. So instead of of, we have to say down. Now, she was too busy to go. Free. Huh? Yes, that's right. She wasn't free enough to go to the, or to go climbing. She wasn't free enough to go climbing. Perfect, students, as usual, correct. Next, number two. They can't keep down with the other people in the group. I can't keep, yes, that's right. Keep up with, when you keep up with someone, you can do as he does, okay? If you can keep up with modern technology, it means you know the latest versions of technology. How can you pop with this terrible heat? How, you, how can you pop up with, which means endure. If you visit someone who lives in a desert, for example, you say, oh my God, how can you put up with this terrible heat? How can you live here? How can you endure? Endure means continue doing something so difficult. I'm not going to give down. I will try harder. It's easy. Yes, I'm not going to give up. And by the way, never, never ever give up on something you want to do. Everyone on the earth can do anything. Trust yourself, be self-confident, do your past, and I guarantee that one day you will be able to make your dream come true. Never give up, okay? Complete the sentences or sentences with these words. Rainy Travel to South America to space animals for her research. Admire, objected, observe, specimen voyage, of course. Observe is the word that best fits the gap here. Many people, famous actors, of course, admire, like them. Mary collected a plant specimen or sample to examine for her research. Christopher Klumps took along in his ship, of course, voyage. Because when we talk about traveling by water, as you know, we say uh, voyage. Voyage. And when we travel by a plane, of course, it's what? Yes, flight. And we travel by land, car, train, pass, it's journey. Amazing. Great students as usual. The woman's family to hear plans to study medicine at university objected, which means refused, means didn't agree, didn't agree. Similar meanings, okay? I think this is the last. A question about vocabulary. You have to study all the vocabulary in your two booklets, my dear students. Make sure that you know the meaning of the word and the correct spelling of the word. Study the prepositions, the phrasal verbs, and the collocations, please. Here, neighbors, music was so loud. So loud. A lot of space music was written, of, again, passive. 
a lot of classical music. This is a type of music. Many not rap music, for example, it was classic, classical music. Many buildings in the center have all over the outside walls, yes, graffiti. Uh, the space works for hours creating his music, yes, composer. The scene of the play. The scene of the plane or a scene in a movie or a scene in a picture, what a, a painter or artist draw in the picture, the scene what you can see in the picture. Okay, dear student, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much. See you soon.